Uh, hello, everybody. How weird is this? <laughs> Quite weird is the answer. First off, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for uh, the School of Criminology's virtual graduation celebration. Just to note, um, your mics are all going to be muted for um, the, the majority of this, uh, this sort of live session, and we'll unmute them at the end. Uh, just so everybody can give a, a round of applause and a clap. If you would like to, please um, ch turn your video on so everybody can see each other. It'd be great if we can all sort of watch each other. Otherwise, I'm just talking to a load of sort of blank question mark boxes, which is a little bit unnerving. So if you like, please, please do uh, turn your videos on. So what we're going to do today is this is all about really celebrating your achievements and I know a lot of speakers who are going to uh, contribute messages today will, will reiterate this but I cannot overstate how incredibly proud I am and everybody in the School of Criminology is and the University of Leicester that you have all made it through incredibly challenging circumstances and you are now one of a hundred students who are graduating from the School of Criminology in 2020 and it is such a tremendous achievement. So I was sort of thinking what to, what to say and I think today is, is, is a sad day, it's a strange day and it's also a happy day. It's sad because I know this isn't how you wanted to be celebrating your graduation, it's not how we wanted to be celebrating your graduation and I know speaking to staff just how much we've missed seeing your hand in your dissertation, speaking to you between dissertation hand in day and today, which should have been your graduation. You know, we, none of us wanted this. So this is why we're putting this together in, in a small way until we can meet again in person. It's a strange day. It's been strange times. Um, I can't recall times like this in my life and I'm sure in yours as well. Nothing I think is stranger than me standing here dressed like this, with these sleeves, in my bedroom, on a Thursday, it is, it is one to remember. And I know we've got, we've got a, a treat because we've got young Sam as well, who is also standing, I'm sure, in his bedroom, feeling equally absurd. So if nothing else, I hope this gives you a, a laugh. Uh, it's certainly given my household a laugh, I must admit. But mainly, the point is about happiness. Happiness for you, for your family, for your friends, who are all hopefully going to be able to celebrate over the coming weeks your tremendous achievement. I'm absolutely thrilled to be doing this, even though I do feel rather ridiculous, and I know all the colleagues who've joined us are also feeling really, really happy. So what we're going to do is I've got a, a couple of uh, pre-recorded messages to introduce, and again, these are just going to be messages from the university but also from people within the School of Criminology who, like me, wanted to, to say something to mark what has been a, a tremendous uh, achievement on your part. So to start us off, I'm going to uh, hand us over to the university's vice chancellor, uh, Nisham, who just wants to say a few words on behalf of the university. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the vice chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you but we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are are citizens of change. All the best. Super. Um, I'm already proud of you. We're all already tremendously proud of you. You've already made us so proud. Um, I have been speaking to loads of you um, who, again, I've just been so blown away by the community that you've created here in criminology, the, the support you've been giving yourselves, you've been giving others, you've been giving your family and friends and your communities. And I think you can take forward, although this experience has been incredibly challenging, you can take forward just how, how fundamentally you've grown as, as people. And I, I'm, I'm, again, so proud of you. I know that Neil is chomping at the bit to have a few words. So I'm going to hand over to uh, the head of school, uh, Professor Chakraborty, who wants to 
say a few words just of congratulation from us here at Crim. Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. This is just a very quick message from me with my head of school hat on to say a massive, massive well done for completing your degree. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few months will have been for all of you. These have been strange, uncertain, complex, scary, anxious, bewildering times for all of us. And you've had to juggle your studies alongside all of the many challenges that the world has thrown at you. So I think that makes completing your degree all the more remarkable and all the more special. I know that many of you will be absolutely gutted not to be taking part in the graduation ceremony this summer and we're equally heartbroken too. It's our favourite time of the year. We get to see you guys, we get to meet your families, your loved ones, and probably best of all, we get to dress up in ridiculous hats and gowns, which is something quite special for us. Um, but we'll look forward to making your day extra special when your graduation ceremony does come along, and hopefully hairdressers will be open by then, so we'll all be looking the part again, which will be great. Um, before I sign out, um, I wanted to share Three messages, really, that I'd like you to keep in mind. The first is very simple. Bask in the glory of your success. You have graduated with an outstanding degree from an outstanding university, and you had to overcome many hurdles to do this, including a global pandemic. So really be proud of your achievements. You To achieve what you've achieved takes bucket loads of resilience, bucket loads of determination and bucket loads of intelligence. So we're always massively proud of you and I know everybody in your world will be hugely proud as well. So really do take a moment to, to bask in your own brilliance. Um, secondly and equally important I think, try and take a moment to show some love to the people around you who've helped you get to this stage. I think everybody needs a helping hand at some stage or another throughout their degree. I certainly did and that might have come through your parents help, your siblings, friends, partners, whatever it may be. So if you uh, can take a minute to, to say a quick thank you to them, I know that will make their day, make their world really. So, so please try and do that. Um, and finally, please stay in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you. I know we're going to see you again uh, when it's your turn to take part in a graduation ceremony, but don't wait until then. Keep in touch with us. Let us know what you get up to. Um, and if there's anything that any of us at Team Crim can help with at any stage, then then obviously don't hesitate to get in touch. As I said, we'd love to hear from you. So congratulations once again on completing your degree. It's a magnificent achievement. Um, thank you for being a big part of our lives over the past three years and good luck with the next steps in your journey. Okay, thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Super. Thanks, Neil. Thank you for reminding everybody that I should have been wearing my hat. And also thank you for mentioning hairdressers, because obviously I have missed a haircut terribly, as we can all see. Many of you will remember three years ago that I had hair when you joined us. I don't have hair anymore. I'll leave you to draw what conclusions you will from that. But I just want to echo uh, everything that, that Neil has said. Again, risk of repeating ourselves we are we are tremendously pleased that you've joined our our extended family as i say you're now part of a, a graduating class of over 100 students who are, are leaving the university but you're, you're not leaving the family of criminology that we've we've formed together what we would normally be doing if this was a real graduation ceremony is that we would all be standing on the stage biting our nails to see if any of you managed to fall over as you come up to get your certificate off the vice chancellor for when I got my PhD, I managed to get my silly sleeve caught in the handrail, which was which was great fun. So we've got that to look forward to as a cohort. Um, but we didn't want this event uh, not to sort of mark each of your individual achievements. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to um, hand over to colleagues from the School of Criminology who, have, um, who are going to read out your names and, and sort of have a we can't confer your degree certificates on us, but at least it gives us an opportunity to, to give everybody a clap. So if I could hand over to my colleagues, please. Hi everyone. I'm utterly thrilled to be part of your virtual graduation celebrations today. And I'm delighted to announce that the following students have all successfully graduated from the School of Criminology, University of Leicester. <laughs> Natalie Adams, Kira Agdabite Ampofo, Omobalaji Adesina Aladukan, Saba Ali, Anu Babatunde, Ash Bayer, Stuart Barker, Lydia Benjamin, Christiana Bjarnason, Joni Bortaye, 
Tracy Broger, Alex Bryant, Neve Cockhill, and Bella Connor. Congratulations to all of you, you've done amazingly. Well done. Hello everyone. Just to say well done to all of our students graduating today and I am very happy to be part of your celebration of your graduation today. So I'm very excited to confirm that Natasha Cook, Lakeisha Crawford, Seven Crawford, Abby David, Harry Desroy, Simran Dillon, Ella Evans, Matty Everett Brown, Christina Fatola, Victoria Fagula Dira, Catalina Facuta, Brian Garcia, Rebecca Gettene, and Jasmine Granol have all successfully graduated from the School of Criminology. Well done to you all. Happy graduation, everyone. It's great that we're able to do this, although we can't be together today for your important day, but I'm really pleased to be part of today's celebrations. So I'm really excited to confirm the names of some of the people graduating this year. So we have Ian Gregory, Lydia Griffin, Ivy Hadji Christidoulou, Matt Hamilton, Connie Hammond, Lauren Hampton, Skylar Hayes, Rob Haylock, Ray Hemming, Morgan Hooper, Rhiannon Howden, Louise Howell, Sandra Idiagi, and Ibrahim Idris. Congratulations to you guys and to everybody graduating today. We're all really, really proud of you. Well done. Hello, everybody. I'm very pleased to be part of the graduation in the School of Criminology. I'm very pleased to see that this list of students have graduated successfully this year. Victoria Jednak, Alina Jeffrey, Kelly Jeffrey, Jani Julius, Ravdeep Kyla, Raj Kaur, Magda Corzon, Jazz Latham, Sandy Lee, Sean Lewis, Dana Lewis, Kevin Lima Rokas, Rianne Lord Simpson, Toby Luffingham. Congratulations, everybody. Hello, everyone. Congratulations on your graduation day. I, like everyone else, am completely gutted that we can't be together to celebrate this significant achievement, but we hope to see you all very soon, nevertheless. This road to graduation has not been an easy one, but you did it regardless, and we are all so, so proud of you. It is my absolute pleasure and privilege to announce that the following students have graduated from the School of Criminology. Sanjay Mehta, Tanya Messam, Zahoni Mills, Casey Morris-Harris, James Morrison, Abby Nagamni, Olivia Novak, Elizabeth Oakham, Jack Overa Cohen, Emily Owen, Panit Pankania, Charisma Parshad, Joseph Pierce, and Amy Pickering. Congratulations again, class of 2020. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be part of your celebration today. It is my happy honour to confirm that Chrisella Robinson, Shannon Ronkari, Rihanna Royer, Peter Rudd, Kieran Sandhu, Amrit Sandhu, Lucy Searle, Navdeep Sidhu, Niall Slattery, Megan Smart, Frey Smith, Danielle Springer, Teresa Tewo and Aisha Tanvir have all successfully graduated from the School of Criminology. My deepest congratulations and well done to you all. Hi everyone, I'm delighted to be involved in your graduation celebration and uh, I'm thrilled to confirm that the following students have successfully graduated from the School of Criminology. Liam Tarrett, Aaron Taylor, Eliza Totman, Josie Tremlett, Isabel Underwood, Bianca Velasco, Adam Walter, Nadina Wellborn, Zoe West, Libby White, Jordan Wanacott, Alex Wood, Louise Workman and Jessica Wright. 
So fantastic. Congratulations to all of you. Really well done. And uh, congratulations. Well done, guys. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Ben in a suit. That's, uh, that's one for the ages. That's the first time I've seen that. So that's thrilling. That's worth the tuning in, if nothing else. What we want to do is we, we've got a, a couple more messages from the university. So we're going to have a, a, a play of some congratulations from your students union in a second. And then I'll be handing over to, uh, to Sam to, to end today's event. So this is my last chance to sort of uh, just reiterate the points that we've all made. Uh, I've enjoyed working with you. I've enjoyed watching you learn and develop. I've enjoyed teaching you being challenged by you, and I hope that you have found your time with us at the School of Criminology, all of those things, rewarding, challenging, uh, and I hope that you're gonna be able to take the skills that you've learned with us, and I know that you're gonna, you're gonna do us proud. So I'm gonna hand over to um, some pre-recorded messages from your Students' Union now. Hi everyone, I'm Mia, I'm your Student Union President, and I just wanted to take this time out to say a huge congratulations. You've made it, you're graduates. Um, this year has probably been the most tumultuous year or one of for students on campus at Leicester. Um, you are the first and only students to go through a whole pandemic and graduate. Um, I know that the ceremonies have been postponed and to a lot of students that will be awful um, and a really huge opportunity that they were looking forward to having. Um, but I hope to see as many of you as possible um, next July and next January to celebrate in person. Wishing you all the best um, in your next endeavours and well done, because you made it. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan, I'm the Students Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here. Um, and utilise that to, to help change things and to help change the world. I, I have faith that everyone here has, has an ability to, to impact things and to really uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Magaya and I'm your Liberation Officer. So I really want to congratulate you on this amazing, amazing achievement. You guys have been through so many hurdles this year, the biggest one being coronavirus, but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day. So today I really want you to remember your experiences, go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage. Hi guys, I'm Carly, your wellbeing officer. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who is graduating this year. You have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. Congratulations to our fellow 2020 graduates. We know it's not been our year, but we hope you're taking some time to celebrate your achievements. So jealous of Toby's shirt. That is that is just epic. <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, enough for me, really. I, I I I know I'm at risk of my repeating myself, but please stay in contact with us. Please take this time to celebrate. We will meet again. We will have a proper graduation where we can all uh, bask in our own ridiculousness. Um, but you know, just do really take this moment to reflect with your friends and your family about just how much you've achieved and how much you've all grown in our time together. So I'm going to hand over to uh, Sam, who's going to end our celebration today. Sam? Thanks, Mark. First of all, can I start off by saying huge congratulations to each and every one of you. All of us in the School of Criminology are incredibly proud of the amazing achievements that you've made during your time here at the University of Leicester. You're all graduating with an outstanding degree from an outstanding university, and that is testament to your work ethic and your abilities and everything that you've demonstrated during your time here. You've also managed to graduate as the first ever cohort of students to do so in the midst of a global pandemic. That in itself is an incredible achievement, and it demonstrates huge reserves of resilience, adaptability, determination, and perseverance. 
Those are amazing characteristics and qualities, and I'm sure that they will stand you in good stead with whatever you do in the future. Now, it gives me great pleasure to announce the prize winners from this year's cohort of graduates from the School of Criminology. So without further ado, I'll turn attention towards the prize winners of 2020. Our first prize is the Scarman Award for the Best Overall Dissertation. And this year, we have two recipients of this award. So it gives me great pleasure to congratulate Rhiannon Howden and Victoria Fagula-Dera on the Scarman Award for Best Dissertation. Well done to both of you. The second prize is for the best overall graduating BSc Criminology student. And this year, the prize goes to Victoria Fagula-Dera. Well done, Victoria. The third prize is for the best graduating international student from the BSc Criminology. And this year we have two recipients of this award. So receiving the best international BSc Criminology student, we have Bianca Vlasku and Olivia Novak. Well done to both of you. And finally, we have the Stanyard Prize for Outstanding Citizenship. And this year, we have made the award to four recipients from the cohort of BSc Criminology students. So it gives me great pleasure to congratulate Alex Bryant, Amy Pickering, Lauren Hampton, and Rebecca Gettinay for receiving the Stanyard Prize for Outstanding Citizenship from the School of Criminology. Well done to all of you. I would like to close off this virtual graduation ceremony by once again saying congratulations to each and every one of you. We at the School of Criminology would like to wish you every success in whatever it is that you do in the future. Please do keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're getting on. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to help you in the future. And please just make sure that you keep in touch so that we can celebrate your success in the future, whatever that might hold. Thank you once again for joining us. And on behalf of all of my colleagues in the School of Criminology, finally, once again, congratulations on your great success. And we'd like to finish with a round of applause for all of our graduates from the School of Criminology in 2020. Very well done. Well then, everyone. Oh, hello. Legends.